Hey there, everybody. Look at that. It is one. Oh, shoot. Two minutes after seven o'clock. That means it's time for another installment of seven minutes in the morning. Today, we're talking about how or not how what to do when you're paralyzed by fear. Stay tuned. This is seven minutes in the morning, where five days a week, you get tips and hacks dedicated to helping business owners and leaders just like you find and break through the one thing that is preventing your success. And now here's the host of seven minutes in the morning and your results coach, Tom Rigsby. Hey there, everybody. Good morning. Welcome to another riveting and exciting installment of seven minutes in the morning. My name is Tom Rigsby, and this is the show. We talk about how to start growing, enjoy the benefits, business ownership and entrepreneurship. And, uh, Hey, when you get here, whether you're watching live or on the replay, um, well, you threw me off there. Well, whether you're watching live or on the replay, go ahead and leave a comment. Say hi. Hello. Good morning. How you doing? Hey, Abby, good morning to you. Just like Abby has done, you can join in with the whole gang there and uh, and just say hi. So all this week, we've been talking a little bit uh, about being afraid about, uh, in fact, yesterday we talked about how your dream should scare you a little bit, right? And, and, and not from the perspective that even that they're scary, but that for you, it should be a little bit of a risk, such that it requires a little bit of courage. Hey, Catherine, good morning. This morning, I want to share a, uh, uh, a quote with you along the same lines. Life's challenges are not supposed to paralyze you. So even though there's a little bit of fear there where it requires you to demonstrate some courage, remember, you can't demonstrate courage unless you're afraid. Um. Even though there's a little bit of fear there, it's not supposed to paralyze you. Those challenges are there to help you discover who you really are. There's a great line. Uh, it, it, it's a it's a great book and a great video called "The Last Lecture" by Randy Posh. And he there's a quote that comes out of there. It says, "The walls in life are not there." to keep you out. They're there to make you prove how badly you want it. And I think that's kind of the same principle that we've been talking about all week this week where, you know, we talk about, you know, your goals should scare you a little bit. You got to demonstrate a little bit of courage. There's got to be a little bit of risk, not goals, dreams. Your dreams should scare you a little bit because there's got to be a little bit of risk. Otherwise it's just regular day-to-day -day activity. You know, it, it, I mean, it's even like, I mean, we've got a pool in the backyard. Just jumping into the deep end can be, you know, scary. We, even though it's fairly predictable, right? So w when you're jumping into the deep end of the pool, this is what I want you to think about. As you go through your day to day, this is what I want you to think about. Am I pushing this hard enough? Am I pushing this far enough so that it's a little bit risky? Now, maybe we'll talk about risk tomorrow, but there's this whole idea behind entrepreneurs being risk junkies. I, I used to talk about this a lot, and I need to get back to this. We're not risk junkies. It's not that we, we're not like the, there's, boy, there's this uh, subreddit on, uh, on Reddit called Hold My Red Bull. It's these folks just doing ridiculous things, right? And like the wingsuit people, I love watching those videos sometimes, like when they don't hit the rocks, because they're awesome, right? We don't have to, we don't have to create that level of risk. We're not that kind of risk junkie. We, in fact, we're pretty risk averse. We try to make sure that we're doing the least risky thing. That's why you do, that. that that's why you talk to your potential customers you solve problems for other people. You know that they have this problem. I know there's a built-in market for what I'm doing. It's not risky at all, right? No, so it's not the risk per se. There's got to be a little risk, but there's not. It's not that. It's the 
it's the commitment. It's putting yourself out there. It's holding yourself out saying, I am good at this. I am the expert and I can make a difference in your life and in your business and what you do. That's the scary part. I don't even think most of us are afraid of failing because we've done it many times. It's just holding yourself out there. So, reminder, today's quote, life's challenges are not supposed to paralyze you. They're supposed to help you discover who you are. And as you go through the day-to-day, are you pushing this, whatever this is, this task, this project, this opportunity, are you pushing it hard enough, fast enough, so that it's a little bit scary for you. That's it. That's all. All right. Really, that's it for today. You guys have a fantastic Thursday. Thursday. You have a fantastic Thursday. Listen, if you get any value at all from our time together, I would appreciate it if you do what others have already done today. Leave that star, like, thumbs up, heart, whatever's appropriate in the venue where you watch or listen. And I skate over that pretty quickly sometimes. I mean, the the show's available in lots of different venues. It goes out live over Facebook, and then it shows up on YouTube, iTunes, Stitcher, TuneIn, all different kinds of places. So find the one that works the best for you and uh, and enjoy it there. Share it with your network there and give us the old like, thumbs up, subscribe, whatever's appropriate for you. All right, really, that's it. That's all. That's all I'm going to say. You guys have fantastic Thursday. See you back here again tomorrow.